Hey YouTube, this is Jack Connor here with a quick update on the whole Lou Elizondo situation. There are some major things happening in uh, TTSA. There's a big shakeup going on. I'm going to dive into it, but before I do, please hit like, hit subscribe, share on social media. We're trying to build our channel and please comment below. I want to know what you think about all this craziness. Okay, let's dive into it. Before uh, yesterday, I uh, gave a little video where I talked about some potential news that was being announced for January. Well, it turns out that at least some of that news is already out there. It has just come out and uh, it is being talked about on the Silva record. And uh, so let's dig into it. It's huge. Uh, as reported by mysterywire.com, and now also independently confirmed by Silver Record, Lou Elizondo's hints during an interview on Coast to Coast with George Knapp are true. Lou Elizondo, Chris Mellon, and Steve Justice are no longer with TTSA. What? That's huge! For those of you who don't know who Steve Justice is, he is the former head of Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, uh, a, a high-level very smart, very capable, very plugged in guy who knows at least some of the score. And uh, Chris Mellon, likewise, high level dude, third, third highest ranking intelligence official in the Pentagon, uh, deeply embedded in all this, knows what the heck is going on. Uh, so, um, and, and obviously Lou. So those three guys, the triumvirate, uh, who are probably the three most prominent people that joined TTSA to make TTSA what it is, uh, have left. Now, there's still some big, very good people left at TTSA, uh, like Jim Simivan from the CIA, high-level dude, very good guy, uh, who really kind of helped Tom DeLong shape TTSA. So as far as I know, uh, he is still there, and so is Dr. Hal Pudoff, uh, Pudoff, who I have a lot of respect for. And, uh, you know, he's been involved in the government's involvement in the paranormal, uh, including PSYOPs, uh, you know, and, and by PSYOPs, I don't mean psychology. I mean actual psychic powers, uh, you know, like remote viewing and, and things of that nature. He has uh, worked in a, an official government capacity for decades. So, so he knows a lot. He knows a lot of the score. Uh, I would love to know what Hal Pudoff knows. Uh, but at any rate, there's still some really good guys left at TTSA. Not all is lost, uh, but uh, this is very interesting and very concerning, honestly. Uh, so let's keep going. Uh, when I first started writing this blog, I was trying to think of what the headline might be. The headline that came to mind was the implosion of TTSA. Yeah, really. After thinking about it more, I decided that headline was too harsh after all. TTSA is still here. Tom DeLong has surprised everyone before and maybe he can do it again. The fact of the matter, however, is that if TTSA were the Chicago Bulls, they just lost Jordan, Pippen, and Steve Kerr. Uh, where they go from here will be interesting to witness. They certainly have their back against the wall now. Will more members exit? Maybe we should look at this more in sports terms. Teams lose and gain players, but the sport continues. Sometimes players and personnel move around in order to better serve their goals. Okay, now he, he goes on, um, you know, to talk about that kind of stuff but it's probably more instructive to go straight to Lou and see what Lou has to say. So, Louis Elizondo announces he's leaving TTSA. And this is directly from the mysterywire.com. I love the Mystery Wire. I love George Knapp. Uh, so, let's... And, but this particular article was actually written by Duncan Phoenix. Uh, I don't know if that's a real name or not, but that is uh, what it says on the byline. George Knapp began his interview Sunday night on Coast to Coast with a simple statement. Let's make some waves. It's fair to say mission accomplished. Uh, Knapp's guest was Lou Elizondo, the former intelligence officer for the U.S. Army in the Department of Defense, 
who has been at the center of many UFO disclosure developments over the last three years. Nath has interviewed Elizondo several times. You can watch his interviews with Elizondo and many other notable people on the Mystery Wire interview page. There were several headlines to come out of the late night interview. Elizondo indicated that he, Chris Mellon, and Steve Justice will be departing to the Stars Academy. Elizondo proposed the creation of a larger, permanent, well-funded UFO research program. And since there's already one in the public domain that's a government program, uh, the UAP task force, he must be talking about some private enterprise. Now, you know, we all thought maybe that's kind of what TTSA was, but really TTSA is about disclosure and about getting the, the, the public engaged and the government engaged. Uh, so is this something else that's actually studying the UFOs and figuring out what the heck they are and why they're here? Is that now Lou Elizondo's uh, goal? Um, maybe that was his goal all along. Um, his, his true interest in trying to understand the phenomenon? It could be. Uh, Elizondo proposed the creation of a, a well-funded permanent re UFO research program. He indicated the current UAP task force has obtained images of multiple known, unknown, uh, multiple unknown aerial objects, including a clear image of a mysterious triangle emerging from the ocean, recorded by military pilots. He hinted that he plans to expand UAP investigations and disclosure efforts on a global level. He's going to expand UAP investigations and disclosure efforts on a global level. So he's taking this worldwide. He's expanding it. This isn't a you know retraction. Uh, he you know he's not he's not shrinking it down. He's blowing it up. So what does that mean? So he, he, he wanted to do something global and more interested in the research side of things than, it, than, than TTSA is doing. That's what it sounds like. I'm having to read between the lines a little bit. And of course, it's early days yet. It's still the fog of war. You know, the official announcement was supposed to come in January. So we may have to wait until then to get all the details. Uh, or, or at least some of the details, uh, the real details. You know, what, what, is, what, what are his concrete next steps? Elizondo hinted that he plans yeah, to expand uh, investigations. A UFO blogger, Danny Silva, quickly published the exchange between Knapp and Elizondo. We'll see if it has anything else interesting to say. Yeah. George says, what's going on with TTSA? There's rumors uh, floating around that an announcement is coming in January. And Lou says, well, I can't speak for TTSA. I, I went over this ex exchange yesterday. It's a, it's a very interesting exchange. Um, as the interview was airing, many people in the UFO research community were sharing thoughts on social media. One of those sharing his thoughts was Joe Mergia, who has the Twitter handle at UFO Joe 11 And he's got, uh, uh, you know, the surfer guy. And, of course, there is a picture of one of the UFOs that has come out presumably through the, the UAP task force. Um, and uh, anyway, it goes on. I don't think it has any any real, um, there, there's no new news beyond that. Uh, so uh, the big takeaway is that Lou Elizondo, uh, Chris Mellon, and Steve Justice, uh, the, uh, the, the three biggest, most prominent guys in the, in the public, you know, uh, the, the face of TTSA, if you will, uh, they are leaving. So why are they leaving? Is it because they're more interested in the research and trying to understand the phenomenon? They believe they have accomplished their mission disclosure-wise and achieved the ends they were going for, uh, creation of the UAP task force, etc., and getting the public engaged and changing the conversation on all this. And now their next step is to understand the phenomenon. And presumably, since they're doing this in the public domain, uh, the, the, the public view, not hidden behind the walls of uh, the government, then they are going to make some of these findings known. Which may indicate that Lou doesn't think 
that the UAP task force uh, is going to reveal much to the public, uh, which would be very disappointing, uh, but it's something that we've all speculated about. Just because the government is studying this uh, and admitting that they're studying it doesn't mean they're going to let us know what's going on. Uh, so that, that, that is very disappointing if true, uh, but you know, reading between the lines, that's kind of the impression I'm getting. Or it could just be that he's more interested in the global, you know, the, the global framing of it and understanding, you know, how, how it affects everybody in the world. Uh, anyway, those are my thoughts on it. It's like I said, it's still early days on it. I'm bummed out, honestly, that Lou is leaving TTSA, but I'm, I'm kind of excited to see where he's going and what he's doing because he's still going to continue the fight. He's still, he's, he's not going to retire to Bermuda and, and go fishing all day. Uh, he's, he's still going to pursue uh, UFOs and UFO understanding and or disclosure uh, in some form. We just don't know. There's even speculation that he might return to the government and lead the UAP task force. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's early days. We don't know. It's, it's, it's an interesting time. Um, and, you know, there, there could be something I'm missing. I, I'm sure there's something I'm missing. So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts below. I, I really want to uh, get you guys to chime in on this. Let me know what you think is going on. What is, what is the score? What's the deal? Uh, what is Lou and Chris and Steve up to? Are they forming a separate TTSA? or a, uh, you know, something like TTSA, but more geared uh, toward research and understanding the phenomenon? Uh, what do you think? Uh, chime in below uh, and please like this video and share on social media, hit subscribe. Uh, we're trying, I think we're, we're almost at 40 subscribers. Let's try to get to, to, to 50, okay? Let's push this up to 50 subscribers. We can do it. Okay, until next time, Jack out. Oh, and Merry Christmas.